Hello everyone, Sunday Gospel Reflection for September 6th, which is taken from the 18th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. There's a couple things I want to point out in this reflection of mine. Um, the first is from the passage that Jesus says, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. And and those are not words that I'm used to using in my everyday vocabulary, bind and loose. But I think what Jesus is saying in this passage is that our actions have eternal consequences. What we do on earth matters for all eternity. And I think it's kind of easy to see that in more of a negative way. Be like, oh my gosh, Jesus is watching every little thing that I do. And he is. But it's not just to be a judge over your life. But the reality that Jesus wants to live in relationship with you in every detail of your life. That there's nothing too small or too minute that Jesus doesn't care about. And I also think that, that there's this that everything that we do has the opportunity to build up the kingdom of God. I think it's easy to think that, that if we don't have like a big position of leadership or we don't have, you know, if we're not a priest or we don't work in the church or we don't have a big personality or any of these things that, that my life is somehow less than or insignificant. But the, the mystery of Christianity is that we believe that even the smallest things build up the kingdom of God. Jesus spent 30 years of his life, 30 of his 33 years, and we barely know what he did. He lived these 30 years in hiddenness, in quiet. And somehow that's how Jesus spent, just chose to spend his life. And I think that during this time of pandemic, a lot of our lives are more simple. A lot of our lives are more, are more um, quiet. And I think that this is an opportunity for us to, to let God love us in this place, to be holy where you're at in the current life that you're in, wherever that may be, whatever the ups and whatever the downs, like this is the place that God has chosen you to be holy. The second part of the reading that I think is really profound is that, that Jesus starts talking about the importance of community. He says that where two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of them. That this, this walk with the Lord isn't meant to be done by ourselves. That we are created for community. We're created for it. We're made after the image and likeness of God. And God is, is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And same with us that we are not created to be alone. That's what God said to us in, in, the, in, the, in Genesis, right? It's not good for man to be alone. That, we're, that we are created to, to walk with God in the context of community. And we live in a very unrelational world. We live in a very isolated world. And that's not how we're meant to walk closer to the Lord. We're meant to walk closer to the Lord in the context of community. At St. John the Evangelist, we are starting up small groups. And they're going to be online for now, hopefully moving to in-person at some point. But I really encourage everyone to sign up for a small group. Because when we're connected relationally, we often grow spiritually. Because we're not made to do it alone. Right? So I guess these two basic messages from, from this gospel is that that Jesus himself lived a life of hiddenness and that everything in his life mattered, that everything that we do has eternal consequences and that, that Jesus wants to live in relationship with us in everything that we're going through. And the second is that we're not meant to do this journey alone. We're meant to do this in the context of community. So I encourage everyone to sign up for small groups. I'll put a link um, underneath this video and God bless from St. John the Evangelist.